Good day, and welcome back to Portland Meadows Racing Live Track. Andy Gabriel, Matt Jukic joining you once again, looking for our pick four ticket here on Sunday, December 2nd. Nice big 12 race card. Of course, that pick four does run through races 9 through 12. 40% takeout on that pick four. Let's go right into that ninth race. I think there's going to be some heat on in here in the early part, anyways, hoping for a horse to get a good stalking trip. Right in behind them, Hustlin' Cat, Tudoru, Eddie Saint should all be involved early, hoping that Sonia's a firefly on the drop down after taking on a starter allowance race on Oregon Championship Day is in a better spot here. You look at that race, two back, same level, was third speed over a length, so I think Sonia's firefly should fit much better here. We're also going to take the five horse in JJ's Gypsy, done really nothing wrong since showing up here with a win and then a good second last time out, beat just a half length to Tequila Reserve, tough competitor in his own right, so... J.J. Zipsy getting close to the end of that three-year-old season. Seems to be coming around and uh, liking the new surroundings. So we'll see if he can continue that role. Into the 10th race. I think three horses in here. Easily the one to beat is going to be the six horse in Akina. If she shows up with any of those other efforts from um, Emerald Downs, she's going to stomp this field. Uh, no doubt about it. Akina, Charlie Essex should have this gal ready to roll. I guess the concern for me is a couple of works showing haven't been all that quick. Uh, it is good to see Luis Torres show up on the rider assignment. Four times straight favorite. She's crossed the wire first in three of them. Um, but I guess there is some question marks. A bit of a shaky one being away for more than three months now. If she isn't ready to fire, a couple of tough competitors here from Portland should give her her run for her money. The three Saintly Roar and the four Tullamore do. The three Saintly Roar coming off a beat last time out, but was a winner of two straight right before then. Good stock and pounce of running style. We'll see what kind of trip she can work out in here. The four Tullamore do coming in off a win off for a non two of the year field. This is an open condition. A uh, bit of a step up, but she's done some good running here with two wins in a second from three tries at Portland Meadows. We'll see if she can continue that role today. Into the 11th, we're going to take uh, a couple out of exiting the same race. One did a bit better. Of course, Missy Sissy was a bit far behind in that one. Bit of a head scratch. I really couldn't figure out what happened to her in there. If you looked at that race two back, um, she fit much better in that one. Actually came home a nice winner over Tibby Tiff, Tiff Milady's Gift in that one. Um, M Missy Sissy and uh, the six My Ginny and Tonic both ran into Color Me Tough last out. Color Me Tough was so much the best in that race. She went off by more than four lengths, really as she pleased. I think My Ginny and Tonic is another one you have to cover, again, exiting that same race. Into race 12, we're going to cover a couple of the two inside horses, the one and the two. Freedoms last night and the two Daddy's Demon. Freedoms last night, been there or thereabouts quite a few times. Now we'll see if he can break through since returning here to Portland. And the three Daddy's, or the two Daddy's Demon, sorry, making his third start off the bench. Uh, we'll see if he can continue to move forward. Seventh, third, kind of making that good progression back towards the winner's circle. So that pick four ticket again, the 14% pick four, three, five, with the three, four, and six, with the two and the six, with the one and the two again. That starts in race nine here on Sunday, December 2nd. Let's get lucky.